speaking of envy and resentment, would you care to comment on the apparently well-established neo-Marxist idea that, that men have a collective, common collective interest and women have a separate common collective interest, a uh, like class interest, and that these interests are, they come into conflict, that there's competition in some sense on a collective level? Well, I think there is competition between men and women, but it's nested inside a broader arena of cooperation. You know, this is another thing that you learn from reading Piaget, if you're, if you're careful, is that, because Piaget was smart enough to understand that there is no dichotomous opposition between cooperation and competition. So, you know, one of the sort of tenets of the kind of leftist mumble-jumble that I hate is that you should, kids shouldn't play competitive games. Right? It should be cooperative games. It's like, okay, let's take that apart. Let's take hockey. Is it competitive or cooperative? Well, it's competitive. Well, wait a second. No one brings a basketball to the hockey game. Right? No one brings a chess board. Everyone that comes to the hockey game comes there to play hockey. That constitutes cooperation. We'll mutually define the aim. Right? It's Piagetian cooperation. We'll mutually define the aim. We'll assign each other roles. We'll all agree to stick to the rules. Well, that's cooperation. And if you break the rules, what happens? You get stuck in the penalty box. You're not playing hockey. Off you go. And people, people go off. They go sit in the penalty box. They don't go kill the referee with a stick. <laughs> like they go, and, they go and sit in the penalty box. You know, six foot seven, 300 pounds. <laughs> so, okay, and then you think, well, what about within the team? Is that cooperation or competition? Well, each team member is trying to be the best player, but it, try not passing to your colleagues and see what happens. You know, even if you're really good, they'll just, you're just a diva, and no one's going to be happy with you. You know, they'll put horrible things in your beer after the game. <laughs> so, it's cooperation there as well. And then there's a meta level of cooperation, which is that everybody's trying to improve their skills simultaneously. And so that, that serves a higher order good. And everyone's trying to learn how to be a good player so that they can play many games. It's like, well, we shouldn't play competitive games. It's like, you must have been educated at OISI. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. It's very sad. And it, it's, so, it's so ignorant for people who know something about child development to say something like that. It's just, what is with you? Where were you educated, or where weren't you educated, is the right response. So, and then so with men and women, well, there is group competition. For example, you're competing, roughly speaking, with all your classmates, right? And the, some of the women are going to outshine you. And so that's, that's tough for men. It's particularly tough for men, because it isn't obvious how you compete full bore with women. It's not obvious, and we don't know how to solve that problem. 